Hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. Hope you all are doing well. This is going to be my third tool bag tour. This is uh, basically my technician's bag. This is my fancy tool bag. This is where uh, all my expensive tools go to live. And uh, before I get those comments of they look like they're brand new, just out of the package kind of deal. Uh, some of them are, some of them aren't. But I'm also very meticulous about taking care of my tools, so I don't know what else to say. I like to take care of my stuff, and, you know, anyways. So, <clears throat> this is my, basically my tech bag. I use this when dealing mainly with um, appliance repairs, uh, more technical type stuff, um, due to my states regulations and company policies i don't do a lot of electrical work as far as anything within the walls basically everything outside the wall uh, is what i deal with so this is the master electrician's tool pouch from tough built once i get through all the tools here i will uh I'll kind of go over the pouch itself. I did a shorter video, uh, a first impression when I first got this pouch, and I really like this thing. Um, so I'll, I'll go over this a little bit more once I get all these tools out of here, and we can look at the pouch itself. But you'll kind of be able to see, this thing will definitely hold a lot more than what I have in here right now. Uh, but like I said, this is kind of where my newer, fancier tools go to live. And basically, they once I figure out some other place for these things to go, that's where they go. But for now, this kind of setup is how I had this going at the moment. Um, so yeah, to get started off here, uh, I did a shorter video. Uh, this the Craft Form Compact from Vera, <clears throat> and and basically it has a, a loop. It, it comes with the pouch here. Um, and it has a loop, and I just actually stranded it through the shoulder strap of the pouch here. Um, it seemed like a good place, that way it's not taking up uh, space in my bag. Solid Velcro on these guys. <clears throat> Sorry, a little congestion. I'm still dealing with some wet winter weather here. Uh, like I said, I did a, a shorter video on this. The blade pops out like that, and then also a little push here on the bottom, and that exposes all your bits. I like this guy. I've been using this guy a little bit. Uh, probably not so much as I, I've actually ended up becoming more of a vessel fan than anything. We'll, we'll get to that guy. I've went over that plenty of times before. But um, anywho, uh, the bits come out fairly easy. On this one, I won't go too much into this. Some of you guys might already have this one here, but I really like this thing. It has your your wrap adapter, little bit holder there. So I, I got plenty to cover in this bag. I don't want to go into this too much. But anyways, and then you pop that out. I'll try to provide a, a card or a link or something on the other video that I've done this one. It's one of the few shorts I think that I have, or the shorter videos that I have, that I, I did this one on. But, <clears throat> this is probably the second Vera product that I had bought. Oop. And, uh, I think that was around 36 bucks at the time. It might still be sitting about the same. I, I got this on Amazon. I will provide links, uh, in all of these in the, in the description. Or as much as possible. This thing comes with, uh, so with Tough Built, it has the Clip Tech system, um, and I'll get more into that in a second. And it also comes with a shoulder strap, which I do like. And I end up using the shoulder strap more than anything. Uh, it does have the availability for it to clip onto a belt, though. So I do like that about it. Slide this back a little bit. <clears throat> So I can have some room here. Uh, so we'll get into the first thing. I just got a, a pair of Klein needle nose that actually I found on the ground and did a little bit of a cleanup restoration job on these, just a little bit. 
they they had some uh, some rust and whatnot on this, and so I got these guys cleaned up. And then I've got my Kinepex Cobras. Kinepex, how do you guys say it? I say Kinepex. <laughs> I always get tripped up. These Cobras, these are the seven and a quarter length Cobras. Um, 8701, 180. These were, I believe I went over these in a Christmas video. Yeah, these were a gift from my lovely wife and basically every almost every single little quick job that i have to deal with i grab these right away i love these um i'm going to get into some of the other sizes that they have but i have fell in love with these these have saved my butt on numerous occasions just the the grip of them it's, it's, it's crazy. It's it's amazing. I love these. There's a reason why they are the price that they are. So definitely check them out. Start with this. Probably the cheaper of the ones. They make smaller versions of the Cobras. Uh, I think this is a good middle of the road starter. So definitely check those out. Amazon, like I said, I'll provide a link in the description. So these are the, I think I got these at Home Depot. So uh, my Milwaukee, and these are barely used. I have not used these a lot. I'm still trying to get used to the, the feel of these. But this is the 6-in-1 combination pliers. And I, uh, I've still been trying to play with around with this. I, my normal uh, electrician kind of quick bag setup. The, the second, I believe the second, or might have been the first bag setup that I went through, uh, has got my normal, normal Klein wire strippers. But I do like that they have a little more of a range in your gauge. I'm trying to get that to focus there. So, but um, I, I did like the fact that the shears on here cut through some Romex like butter. I don't have I don't have a strand of Romex here handy right now. Uh, just a little piece of wire. But it really cuts through this. Like I said, super fast. Like I said, even with a I, I found these cutting a little bit a little bit better than a pair of linesmen. So, also what I like about these, I haven't got to utilize that too much, but they are. There's a spring there, so a little bit of a spring retention, but it also has basically a a, a small screw cutter here. Uh, I don't know if that's picking up on the camera. The screen of my camera is kind of small, but uh, 832 and 632 it also has a for your loop there to make your shepherd's hook. But basically with this and what I was told that you do need to thread this through the front side where the name is because it'll actually clean your thread off once you shear off your your screw. But this does shear off your screws. A little bit of pressure. But it does pretty good. And once you shear it, once you screw it back out, it's basically meant to clean your thread to where you don't have the knurling and stuff on the end of your thread. So... This is still my new camera, so I'm trying to get this guy to focus. But anyways, if you need to shear down a bolt or a screw, it's got that. So I thought that was pretty pretty handy. I haven't had to use that, utilize that a whole lot. Um, I like the fact that, and just the fact of it being a, a combo plier. I'm all about some versatility in one tool. So, uh, yeah, uh, Home Depot is where I got that. 
I've got this around Black Friday or holidays. So that's this was on a deal. I don't remember how much. A pair of seven inch linesmen, uh, great neck brand. These have been okay. Uh, these are kind of just some backups. When I'm really applying some pressure to these, I've noticed the grips do tend to twist a little bit. So, I mean, I could probably apply an adhesive inside that if I wanted to go that route. Um, so yeah, eh, probably just get something better. So, those are okay. Before I get too far around this side, let me go here real quick. Like I said, this is the Master Electrician's Tool Pouch. I am not a Master Electrician. I am simply a maintenance man with minor electrical knowledge. But, I do like to be prepared. So, I believe I got on the side pouch here. I, uh, I believe these two, I think... So I got a combo do deal, and I think these two are what came together. I can't remember. Uh, this was at Home Depot, but they also had the combos on Amazon. Uh, you basically have your uh, GFCI tester. Uh, I do like this guy here. Um, and then a, a, a voltage tester here. I like the fact that I can, you can actually pop that off. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you basically. So you could slide that in there. That way you got one here, one here. Freeze up a hand if you need to. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, holding on to uh, two different contacts. So this has been handy. It's got a little clip there. Just flipping stuff everywhere tonight. So. Oh, and I just dropped my precision bit out of here. But this is the Klein. This also came in another little bundle deal. I just keep the little cap that came with it on there so it's not jabbing into things. Just flips around. You got your Phillips. You got a slotted. And this pops out. And it's just Phillips and Flathead, basically, on this guy. Pretty simple. But it's got your little end that turns there, so. I like this little guy. I, ended up, I think I, I have a Husky that I end up using way more than that. The little Husky from uh, my previous tool bag tour that I did. Uh, I've had this Husky for quite a few years there that's for you guys that like seeing beat up tools this thing's seen some use so my little flying ratchet and this came with uh, the this was actually the bundle with the stubby my 8 and 1 I had to have a second stubby because I love this stubby so much not as much as my vessel but I do love this thing so much so I guess the whole thing with the bundle normally you can get this on its own and it has its own little bit set but with this being a bundle I guess the intention is that you can use the bits that are housed within your stubby along with your ratchet you have your blade that extends out and you could pop it in. Make sure I did it in the right end. Yeah. This guy's come in very handy 
as far as working on some uh, bathroom vent fans. So yeah, so these two, like I said, came as a little package deal. I will provide the link. I, I do believe this is still on Amazon, so I have seen this recently. <clears throat> and I got a little clone cheat stick. Uh, this thing was also with another bundle that I found at Home Depot. Uh, you can actually put this thing in the silent mold, but um, I do like the fact that it has a light on it. Going around to, and I've just got another, just a smaller slotted, an older line here. And then I've got the Klein 7 and 1 flip socket. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this. Uh, I think I might have already done a video on this one. Um, so you've got a quarter inch, 5 16 11 32 3 8 7 16 and a half inch. Um, I bought this when I first saw Morgan's Maintenance do the super driver. Where basically you are using your, let's see, let's get this out of the other bag, out of your, your 14 and 1, um, which my video before kind of covers this, trying to do the super driver, and then I ended up getting these extra uh, blades here that you can buy separately of your, your flip sockets. And I ended up going this route after the fact. Um, so I do have the extra, I do have the extra flip socket here. Um, these are kind of, I don't like the fact a lot of the other guys too. Um, if you watch the other videos, it, the, it's, it's a little weird as far as like, you have to pull it out and then, I mean, you still have the availability of this, but I'm not using these different sizes. I'm usually using the quarter inch to the 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 five sixteenths mainly with pretty much everything I encounter so that's about all uh, so but you know you, you got it if you need it it's better to have it and need it and need it not have it is that right is that the same it's better to need it and have it and then <laughs> they always trips me up anyways so you got it if you need it you know <clears throat> so it's just one more cool little little thing so but yeah I mean it's worth checking out the the first one that I bought I had, the first video I tried to do on this thing was I, I couldn't get the shaft to release after I put it in there and uh, I struggled with it but I ended up doing a return on it and, and got another one and I haven't any, had any problems with it since so there's that uh, here, let's go to the vessel, which I'm pretty sure I've done plenty on this guy. Um, that's the product info there. I think I should put my glasses on so I can actually see. There we go. I can actually see my screen and my camera a little better. It's got a little bit of wear there. I don't know if you can see the tool number there. But, uh. I love this guy. I, I grab this thing for almost everything now. And it pops off. Let's get that satisfying pop there. Hold on one second. Let's do this again. I don't use the stubby end of it that much. Uh, you will need to have an extra little, you know, bit adapter or whatever to go in there. But I do love this thing just for the ratcheting. This ends up being my number one go-to tool for doorknobs and ceiling fans. I could basically change out an entire ceiling fan with this one deal here. Uh, and like I said, and doorknobs. So uh, the only issue I've seen with this is <clears throat> it tends to, depending on how you're handling it, you can actually switch the ratcheting direction a little too easily. 
but once you get used to it, it's not that bad, you know, so, and, and it's kind of reverse, so, to me, I don't use a lot of ratcheting uh, screwdrivers, but if you want to go this way, you, you have to switch, it, it's basically reversed, you know, and that might just be, I don't know, I, there's not too many brands that kind of do that, but, I do, I do like this guy a lot, so, like I said, there's other videos on that, here is my other vessel, uh, this was a Christmas gift from my wife, and I keep the, the extra little bits right here, I use my study, my stud buddy there to kind of hold those in place, these are all magnetic, um, let you look at that there, so, this flips around, so you have a slotted in, you got a six, and then a two inch or a two number two Phillips there. I can't tell if my camera is adjusting or not just because of my I'm not keeping my glasses on my head. Um, <clears throat> so we'll just look at that real quick. So basically, you want to see uh, it. These are magnetic uh, bits. And then you have one, two, and three Phillips. Uh, you have a six slotted, and then a two and a three posi drive. So I do like the versatility of this. These just kind of pop in and out. There's no kind of release mechanism on it. Uh, just the ball feel of these ball handles. They're just there. There's a, a comfort to that. And I, I, I really like the way that they handle. This has somewhat been a game changer for me. So I really do like these. I'm going to go to my Vera Joker here. Uh, this is the self-adjusting wrench. <clears throat> I haven't used this guy a whole lot. They were really interesting. I've watched a ton of videos on them. And I really wanted to get a... A, a pair or one of them whatever uh, so these are 13 to 10 or half inch to 7 16 in span I have seen some comments on social media that they are bad to round out nuts uh, I don't know I, I have not had that problem yet the Product number is six zero zero. Is that picking up there? Six zero zero four S. So this is the small. Uh, they have different sizes of the Jokers. It's got a little little grip there for your thumb. These have been nifty, pretty handy. Like I said, they kind of live in this bag, <clears throat> but uh, I haven't had to use these a whole lot yet. This was another gift from my lovely wife. Thank you. Uh, I really wanted to test these out. I just like the design, and I love Vera products. So, I wanted to check out a set of these. A lot of guys have these in their EDC kits. Uh, so, yeah, you can check those out. Uh, Amazon, I believe, is where I, or where I got that from. Um, next up is my Vera Tool Check Plus. So, it's kind of dumb. I ended up spending another $20 or $30 for a case because it does not come with a case like this. Uh, well, it might maybe on their website, I think, but it's definitely a lot more to get that. And this is more for the, the bike tool setup. That's why it has this extra little pouch in the front. But the fact that I spent more money on this case... And this thing was already, itself, I think I might have got this for around 70 bucks or so. But right now, this thing is around 80 to 90 bucks for the Imperial. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's beautiful. I, I saw this for the first time a couple of years ago in a, uh, an EDC, basically... Uh, get home bag video I did not know this existed until then and once I saw it and the versatility of it I had to get one so it, it took 
almost a couple of years for me to actually break down and buy one and to justify getting one but this thing has been amazing if you've got the scratch to to spend on this thing i say get it it's a little weird at first it's as far as like realizing just how small this little driver handle is it it's tiny you know my my hands aren't super big but like you can tell this thing's really small but this has come in really handy i've done tons of work on exhaust fans with this kit this is usually the first thing i grab and that was probably another reason for getting the the bag and the pouch for this is the fact of i i can just grab the whole thing and that and my 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 cobras and that's basically all i need sometimes <clears throat> so this thing has been great it has your wrap adapter that you can pop into your handle here and it has a nice little nice little click to it because it has a really strong magnet in there and then you have your your wrap adapter there just clicks into place you got a tiny little driver there if you need it super handy this has definitely been a lot more kind of geared towards the uh the EDC kind of community and uh, yeah but th that's I guess another good thing about this is I can take this and if I need to throw this in my my go bag I can do that if I'm going on a little trip or whatever um, this is a newer design of the the case I think the older designs used to have a, a type slide thing here uh, but they, they kind of changed up the design on it. Um, and this is as of, I think, 2022. Uh, and then you have a small ratchet about the size of your handle. Pretty much the same size. But, uh, it's good for little hard-to-reach areas. And this has been super handy. Really love this thing. If you can afford to spend the money on it um highly suggest it and i have the imperial uh aka standard so uh, they also sell the metric the metric is cheaper but yeah and then of course you have sockets there beautiful little piece of equipment there so yeah that's enough on that <coughs> uh Going to next, just a basic Milwaukee 11 and 1, kind of like the Klein 11 and 1. I, this is okay. I, I bought this uh, a couple of years ago. Um, I don't like the fact that none of it is magnetized, so it's not going to hold on to anything really at all. Uh, but I do like the fact that it's very versatile. You can flip it around, but this was before. Uh, me doing my Klein super driver kind of thing and uh, I really I don't use this thing very often at all but it is very versatile if you're looking for a lower end uh, uh, affordable kind of thing I mean, honestly after you buy this thing and you, you, you spend the money on your clients you're, you're gonna pay pretty close to the same thing so like I said it if you don't care about having magnetic bits uh, this is a good little handy little guy here, but I, I just feel like I, I want something magnetic to hold on my, to my uh, all my fasteners. So, yeah, that's the Milwaukee 11 and 1 there. Uh, I think we already went over these there. And these are magnetized, by the way. I wanted to show you. This was from the vessel. They all came in the, the same kit. Uh, this is just, like I said, where I keep my extra bits. Attach my stud buddy. So, oh. the magnet on it is okay. Not super, super strong. That one holds all right. So, yeah, not too bad. Like I said, they somewhat kind of stick together. 
a little bit, but and like I said, stud buddy. This is my second stud buddy. I, I have one on my the the first bag that I uh, went over. Uh, I use this guy for all my finish work, uh, trying to find studs. This thing is awesome. Get a stud buddy, like eleven bucks, ten bucks, something like that. I think I've started seeing them at Home Depot now. Uh, I used to just be able to find them on Amazon. Uh, and there's just basically some magnets inside this thing. So I've went over this before. Won't spend too much time on that. And then I have a little Pika knockoff high high boom. This thing I've had no problem with it. It's cheaper than the Pika. I got this in a, um, a basically a, a bundle of uh, some leads. Excuse me, other refills, whatnot. But I've gone over this before. This is a your deep hole marking uh, pencil. I love this thing. Love this. I have not used a carpenter pencil since I came across these. So it has a little sharpener down on the end here. Uh, like I said, you do that to pop your lead out, and you can you can sharpen your point if you need a sharper point there. But yeah, I keep one of those in pretty much all of my bags there. Um, the, I got a tough built, basically, okay, so it's the tough built tradesman knife. It's a four inch titanium drop point blade. And this is just in here because I haven't figured it anywhere else to put this thing, but the grip is solid. I love all of the tough built stuff. I love how well it, it, it feels all of it. Um. I said this is the tradesman knife i have not had any use for this thing yet at all but when i saw this i was like i've got to have it because i was definitely in a, a knife phase but like i said it it might make some resonance i guess uh a little nervous if you're going in there with any kind of blade or whatever so i usually don't carry this into units this is just kind of hanging out in my bag for now but uh this is probably going to go into uh, more or less a my a camp setup more than likely because I really don't have any use for this in any kind of uh, a working environment. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of show this off. And this was in there. I got this on Amazon as well. But super cool, really sturdy, very nice blade on this thing. Nice sheath, comes fairly sharp. But for those of you knife guys. This might be a good little EDC knife or whatever you want to carry there. I, I know certain states have different laws on blade length. So, like I said, I don't really do a whole lot with this thing at all. But it, it's just something I had to have. Uh, Milwaukee Inks all. Keep that in there too. Um, and then a uh, notepad. Always just a little notepad. And then I think we're down to the bag here. Other than my little light, I did say that basically I bought a bunch of these little lights. These were three, four bucks a piece. These were the, the Lux Pro um, LP 130s. You can find these on Amazon. These telescope out to a finer point. And it has your little clip there. These have been great. I got one for my wife. She's got one on her purse. I've got one on my bag. I got one on every one of my uh, my other bags. It's a great little backup light. So these things have been really cool. I've had this these guys for over a year or so and haven't had to change the battery out on them yet. So these have been really good. Uh, so now down to the bag here. Uh, oh, yeah, one more thing. I just have a little pack of like bits and bobs here. That I, I kind of keep there. But yeah. So yeah. Just some bits and bobs. Usually for a little bit of electrical work. So getting to the actual tough belt here. When we're looking at it. Um, that being the master electrician's pouch. Uh, you have your tape chain here. Uh, kind of, I don't like the position of this thing, just because, I don't know, they could have put it somewhere else, but it kind of is right here, and it's kind of weird the way that it sits like that, and, and especially when you have this thing loaded down with all your other stuff, 
Uh, I would prefer it maybe to be on the other side here. Um, so this thing, basically, it is adjustable on the bottom um, with Velcro. So if you needed a little bit of slack, a little more room, or if you needed to completely remove that strap out of there so that it has a complete drop down of whatever you, you put in that pouch. Uh, I just love these. I think this was 35 bucks or so on Amazon. Everything tough built, everything that I've had, uh, I, I love. I love the durability of it. I love the feel of it. I love the, the clip tech system. Uh, I plan to get more. There is a, a tape holder in the front. I don't really keep a tape on this bag. Um, but you have tons of pockets in it. And I hope this is all picking up. So you basically have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I didn't miscount there. Uh, just right there on that side. And then uh, when I was first trying to look at these, there weren't too many videos on this pouch. So I want to try to be as thorough as possible. I hope my lighting isn't bad. I hope you can see this. Like I said, I, I have another video on first impressions of this. Uh, basically, I have two other pockets for pens or whatever you might want to keep there. Um, I did have a, a viewer ask what I thought about removing uh, basically all this here in the middle. Um, it looks like it's very well made. So you would have to remove some rivets and you'd have to remove the stitching and stuff. With some work, you could definitely do it, but you might potentially start tearing the pouch up. But this is how it comes as of right now. And it has, I'm really trying to get some better light for this. Sorry for the movement. But... And this bag is actually a little bit bigger than it seems, probably on camera. So, this has been a good little pouch here. Uh, like I said, it, it does come with... Sorry, I'm bumping things around, guys. Of course, you have your clip tech system. If you're not familiar with uh, tough built stuff, it has your clip tech. And... Basically, there's your release there. This is meant to go on a belt loop. So if you don't want to use the shoulder strap, uh, you have this attached to a tool belt. And you can pop this off and on your belt. So I guess that, uh, initially the plan was... I'm not doing this the right way. Initially the plan was to have a belt kind of set up to where I have clips already. And I can clip all the different various pouches that tough belt makes onto that one setup um, and another good thing about this guy is it has basically a kickstand on it so if you go in to do the work you just take pop out your kickstand and the bag sits upright the only thing kind of weird about it is the handle is from the front I'm used to tool bags that kind of have a, a loop to where you grab from either side. I'm always trying to grab from the back for some reason. That's just kind of what I'm used to, like muscle memory. But uh, it, it's taken a little bit of getting used to, but it's not a game changer, you know. Uh, so it's got basically a handle on the front there. But yeah, I do like the kickstand. I do like being able to pop that out. I can set it down. I have full display of what I need here. So... Yeah, and I think that is the tool pouch, guys. And basically, everything that it holds, all the contents, it's actually a decent amount of stuff. So, yeah. It holds a good bit, and that's honestly not full capacity. This is basically kind of what I throw my extra stuff into, or it's kind of a secondary go-to bag. Um, I don't normally carry this into units. This is another bag that kind of goes into the units that I'm doing turnovers on. And it kind of sits in there with my, uh, the second bag that I went over. And, but yeah, it holds a good bit of stuff. This is most of my technical gear. Uh, like I said, my higher dollar stuff. That's my, this is my fancy bag is what I call it. 
but yeah so that's that i appreciate the views guys and uh any questions leave them in the comments i'll i try to answer every every comment that i that i can and i will provide a link to as much of this as possible and i thank you for watching and you guys have a great weekend